Hi guys, welcome to the Craft Beer Channel and welcome to yet another industrial estate. Uh, today I've come out to the freezing cold Norwich, just north of London, uh, to meet these guys. So I'm here today because they produce something very, very special. They produce a steam lager. Now if that rings a bell, that's because Anchor Brewing, a very famous brewery out on the west coast of America, also do one. Now steam lager is an unusual beer because it's somewhere between an ale and a lager because what they do is, is they take a lager yeast which has to be brewed at a very cold temperature but they brew it at an ale temperature which is much much higher uh, and that produces lots of fruity funny flavours so why is it called a steam beer? we think it comes from the time when it was invented about 150 years ago now it was invented because they didn't have any refrigeration back then so they had to brew these beers at a higher temperature particularly in California where it was invented because uh, it's pretty warm over there. So they used to chill their beers by brewing them in the brew house and then taking them up to the roof. On the roof, there would be all these Pacific winds coming in and that's how they cooled it down. So all the steam would be coming off of the building like, like beery hair coming off the top. The other theory is that one of the big side effects of brewing lager yeast at high temperature is much more carbon dioxide, which A means it's much more fizzy beer, and B means you get a lot more pressure in your tanks and when you open it up to uh, distribute the beer, you get a whole load of steam coming out. Whichever's true, I don't know, but I'm here at Redwell to meet somebody who can hopefully explain it. Follow me. Well, that's enough ill-informed waffle from me. Uh, I'm joined by Ben Palmer, a uh, brewer at Redwell. Uh, he's gonna explain far better why you would uh, brew a steam beer, and in particular, why you brew a lager yeast at a higher temperature. So let's start with that. Why would you do that? Um, why would you do that? I mean, originally, um, steam beers were lager yeast at a higher temperature because they uh, they were originally made before uh, refrigeration. So there was, there was no choice. Um, America didn't have the lager caves like Germany and Czech did, so they could they could control the fermentations. Um, so they, they kind of had to, had to brew them at this warmer temperature. Um, so why are you doing it, what, 150 years later? Uh, we're doing it 150 years later, or however long it was, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm pretty sure my history is accurate. Okay, cool, I'll, I'll go with that. Um, <laughs> uh, mainly for the flavour of it, it's, it's a style of lager that, that we, don't get, we didn't get in England very often, unless it's imported from America. Um, and fermenting a, a lager yeast at a higher temperature um, it's going to give you more, more esters, more of a fruity flavour from the yeast. Um, give you a, a slightly more um, complex yeast flavour into the beer. So what do you mean by an ester? Uh, an ester is a, it's a, it's a flavour uh, that comes from the yeast really. It's one of the, one of the things that the yeast kicks off. I'm going to get, get more of this kind of raisiny, uh, raisiny flavour. Um, maybe a, a little bit citrusy, but it's not going to be like a full on hot citrus. It's something more, more subtle, yeah. subtle than that. Um, closer to, to what you, you get from maybe an ale yeast. Yeah, so it's got it's got almost that sort of real ale kind of the way it coats your tongue a little bit, mm. but it's still really light and, and effervescent like yeah. a lager. Well, a lot of the a lot of that the the flavour you're getting that's more like the ale is going to be the, the malts we use. So we use an awful lot of uh, crystal malt and caramel malt yep. in this beer to give it the colour, um, to give it the complexity that we were, we were looking for. Um, so the whole thing with steam beer is it can't be pale as any other lager. You need a little bit of that kind of uh, caramel, burnt toffee kind of flavour um, that we get from the malts. And that, and that goes with the, with the spiciness? Uh, yeah, exactly. It's going to help add to that, that, that spiciness that we get from um, the Northern Brewer, which we use in it as well. Um, Holotown Northern Brewer from Germany. Um, so gives, those are the hops, sorry. Sorry, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, for hops we use uh, Holotown Northern Brewer from Germany. And we use Cascade from America predominantly in the, in the, in the batch. So you're going to get the nice spiciness and the traditional bitterness of a, of a German noble hop. Yep. Um, and then you're going to get the nice fruity citrus orange um, from the Cascade. Um, and then we dry hop our steam beer as well, um, which is something I'm not sure how traditional dry hopping a steam beer is. Probably not so, Probably so traditional. Probably not so, um, but we think it worked. I mean, when we first started making it, we didn't dry hop it, and it was a very good beer. And then, you know, me and the old head brewer decided that we'd sneak some hops in there and see if anyone noticed, and <laughs> it worked out beautifully. And uh, So people noticed, but in a good way? Noticed, but in a good oh, way. Okay. There, was a, there was a definite reaction that the beer had improved from just having, having that, that, that fresher hop nose. Yeah. 
So you're brewing it at a higher temperature when the yeast is in, but then yeah. you're lagering it at a very cold temperature. We are. We, we still do do a lager with it. Um, we still store it store it cold like we with a lager. We don't necessarily do it for quite as long. Mm -hmm. um, one of the advantages of the warmer ferment is that you don't create so many of the off flavors you get in a standard lager fermentation. Although we do lager it, um, we don't lager it for long as our health, um, which is a very traditional ferment, very cold, um, and, and we do need to give it that time um, to become the rounded, the fully rounded lager yeah. it is. This one, because of the way we ferment it warmer, you don't get so many of those off flavors, have a little bit less time lagering, and it also gives us a chance to kind of dry hop it and uh, make it taste the way we want to. I mean, you guys choosing a steam beer is quite Unlikely, I guess. I mean, you you, you predominantly do lagers, but you're yeah. the first brewer that I know of in the UK doing uh, doing that. A couple doing more, steam beer. Yeah, a couple um, more have. So why did you 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 say you're powered by steam here? So it's we are we are we are uh, we have a very old Folsom steam boiler, um, which makes sounds that scare me on a daily basis. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got a really nice steam fired boiler, steam fired kettle, um, and as well we wanted something a little bit different. We wanted something that was going to stand out in the crowd a little bit more. I mean, there aren't too many lager producers and the mm -hmm. craft lager producers. There's some brilliant ones around. Um, but it was just a slightly different lager style that we don't see very often. I mean, I think a lot of people are used to having uh, the imported American steam, which is an extremely nice beer. Um, but it's also imported. It's not yeah. quite as fresh. By the time it reaches us, the hops are gone. Well, yeah. Um, they're, they're going to start dropping out, definitely. Yeah. Um, and I think it was just a style that, that this country isn't overly used to. Um, and it was a style that we all loved as a, as a team. So it made sense that, you know, with our original lineup of a couple of lagers and a couple of ales, why not do something a little bit different as well? And in between the two as well. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, well, I think it's a lovely beer. So cheers for having us. Cheers, sir. Uh, and long may the steam revolution continue. Hopefully so.